it's over a year ago that I saw your show, Credible Like a Superstar Role Model at Soho, because everybody told me how brilliant you were. Yeah. And it was brilliant. True. So <laughs> I, a lot of people have said to me, you're very brave to do write something about cancer when you're surrounded by people that you know might have had it or are having it but you haven't yeah I think that's really bold but really fantastic I think it's important because it, it takes the onus off you can't hide you shouldn't have be able to hide from it it's a reality of modern life don't feel cool with the term survivor I just found you through Twitter or something like that and I thought let's make something together but then what happened i think I got we had you were already ill was i already ill by the time i met you yeah we had a long convoluted conversation about what i was maybe going to make a show about and then you said i'm ill right. i've got cancer and i wondered if you ever thought about making work about that so you should have just asked me that before i came what a waste of time yeah what a long <laughs> convoluted thing i had to do yeah if you have certain kinds of surgeries or you have certain drug dependencies or you have certain kind of fertilization mm. issues you're, you're just not you aren't the same you're, you're not the same We had this beautiful conversation in the beginning of the process about how <coughs> the music would sort of uh, metaphorically ape some of the machinations of cancer, like it, like that it would flatten itself and to a reduced experience sort of thing. So that there would be some songs that were mel melodically became more and more limited until that they were just just one note, and that would somehow mimic the experience of of the the day-to-day -day life of living with chemotherapy and that and th those sorts of things are really generative in terms of how songs would work and Brian and I were talking about um, how we could make the music metastasize is that the metastasize. right? Metastasize. Metastasize, yeah, yeah. It, it grows. That it, it, it would it sort of grows. start off small, like small rhythmic repetitive cells that would begin to sort of grow and sort of metastasize. We see in a lot of musicals, even if it's to undercut it, but this feeling like so much of the cancer stories are told through uh, fundraising videos and getting people like to feel big emotions and yeah. things like that. Hey there, ladies. My name's Vera. I am from a different era. Noxious but I think that there are also some things about cancer that are inherently funny because they are so absurd. Like with this, it's the language around cancer is obscene. Suddenly, a progress is bad and negative is positive, and positive is negative, and, yeah. and, and growth is a bad thing. You yeah. know, all these things are like, you have to recalibrate your whole sense of self. But that's a really exciting space to start writing a musical, because it is both serious, but there are chances for absurdity, maybe more than humor, yeah. but definitely um, Oh, it's going to be ever so good. Yeah, probably. Possibly. Definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> <laughs>